What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex here, and you're watching the Rage and Roll Review. I got a review for you. I know I'm kind of late on this, but I finally checked out The Legend of Tarzan. It is a film directed by David Yates, who, if his name sounds familiar, he's actually the director for four Harry Potter sequels and also the upcoming spin off, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now, this is a film that uh, I wasn't particularly looking forward to, but the trailers did look exciting, so I decided to check it out. It is a film that stars Alexander Skarsgård as the title character. We got also Margot Robbie, Samuel Jackson, Christoph Waltz, and also the Jaimon Hunsu. So, if you don't already know, this film, The Legend of Tarzan, is actually a sequel to the Tarzan story. And it's not a sequel to any particular specific Tarzan film. It's a sequel to the story in general. Now, if you don't know the story of Tarzan, it's about this orphan who was raised in the jungle by apes. And then he becomes the king of the jungle because he's this human who can communicate with animals and he pretty much rules the jungle. So now, this film, The Legend of Tarzan, is the sequel and what goes on in the sequel is that we have the title character, Tarzan, now living his life as John Clayton. And he's a member of society. As in, like, he lives in the city. He has a life in society and in the city. And I actually thought that concept was pretty interesting. What would Tarzan do if he lived in the city? And that was a pretty intriguing plot point. And, of course, this movie's called The Legend of Tarzan, so there's going to be some kind of conflict that brings him back to the jungle. And while I did think that that concept of him being part of society was interesting, and I'm positive that the writers, the studio executives, the producers, they thought it was a brilliant idea, it actually doesn't work. <laughs> And I guess it was my mistake to think that it would work because it doesn't. And the reason why is because as much as you think it would be very, very interesting to see Tarzan living in society, it's boring. It's really, really boring. The first half or the first 45 minutes of this movie just moves at such a slow pace. And I'm thinking that the director, the writers, they thought that it would be, it would uh, be, uh, I guess, a great build-up, or some sort of development towards a more uh, 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 an action-packed uh, second half of the film. And look, this movie's called The Legend of Tarzan. I want to see Tarzan. I don't want to see John Clayton. I want to see Tarzan. So let's bring in that jungle action. Unfortunately, you gotta wait till the second half of this film when the conflict starts that brings them back to the jungle so you're just waiting and waiting and waiting for something to happen and then you and then you, it finally gets there but the time but by the time it gets there you probably already lost i i guess any connection to the title character let me tell you something alexander skarsgård as tarzan just doesn't work for me and one of the reasons why is because of the direction, also the way he was written, and also his performance is just very uncharismatic. I really don't care for his character. And a lot of, uh, of what Tarzan does that is very, very signature for him as the, a character is a lot of a vine swinging and just swinging through the jungles and just moving through the jungles like he was an animal. And a lot of that's done with very unconvincing CG. And a lot of his animalistic fighting style, like hand-to-hand -hand fighting style, is it, just plagued with poor editing and just choppy camera work. Like the editing is just so poorly done that I'm not convinced that Alexander Skarsgård can even portray a character like Tarzan. So that in itself is a pure fail, okay? Now, as for the supporting characters, they did an excellent job. Margot Robbie, Samuel Jackson, and the great Christoph Waltz, even though he was under some poor direction, Christoph Waltz nailed it with his performance. He played a very evil character, and he does a great job. Samuel Jackson uh, is fun to watch because of him being not only the comic relief, but also he just does a good job. Margot Robbie, always a delight to watch, and she also puts in a great performance. Alexander Skarsgård, unfortunately, is the, uh, the weak link to this cast, which is pretty bad because this is the movie that is about him. So I can't really recommend this movie just because the first half was boring and it's a long, prolonged first half of the film. Once we get to the end of, or rather the second half of the film, 
I feel that it's more fun to watch Samuel Jackson, Margot Robbie, and Christoph Waltz. A lot of the Tarzan scenes didn't really do much for me. So I can't give this movie a high score. I can't even give it an average score. I'm going to give it a low score uh, for the fact that only the last half of the film was entertaining. And so that means uh, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. But actually, the fact that Alexander Skarsgård did a poor job gives it lesser points. So I'm just going to say that I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 10. Okay? 4.5 out of 10. Now, there is a redeeming factor, and that is if you enjoy 3D films... I didn't watch this film in 2D, but I can tell from the cinematography alone and the way things come out at you, I could tell that this is a film that they they had 3D in mind and it wasn't an afterthought. Now, if you can catch this movie while it's still in the theaters then, and you're, if you're curious about wanting to watch it, go check it out. I can't recommend it, but if you do decide to check it out, check it out in 3D. I think it's one of those films, based on what I've seen, that can actually have good 3D for it, okay? So, there you have it. That's all I gotta say in this review. Four and a half out of ten. Definitely not a film that I can recommend, and there you have it. And, as always, if you enjoyed this review, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation, also follow me on Twitter, at Raging Nation. My name is Alex Yu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Um, which leads me to talk about Enchantress, played by Cara Delevingne, and poor casting choice. Her her character is like very mystical.